Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about some of the brand new information revealed in the newest Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer. So we got a bunch of new information in today's new trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, confirming a couple things that we already knew and giving us more details and some more, more Pokemon reveals that we didn't already have. So some of the things they did in this trailer is they fleshed out the three different paths that your journey is going to take. We learned about Victory Road, which is the, 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 the name of the gym challenge, how you're going to take on the eight gyms of the Paldea region and eventually take on the championship. So that's the first one. The other one that you're going to be dealing with is the Path of Legends, where you're joining Arvin, one of the characters we met from the school a couple months back, searching for rare ingredients that have to do with terastalizing and other phenomena. In this part of the trailer, we got the reveal for a brand new Pokemon. We also got the reveal for... Titan Pokemon. These are much larger versions of other Pokemon that you're going to have to face in order to get these Herba Mystica, which is one of the, uh, the herbs, one of the items that you're going to have to gather. Um, it, it seems that it is said to immediately restore health once eaten. That's what it says on the official Pokemon Scarlet and Violet website. The third thing that you're going to be dealing with, the, with in this game is facing off against Team Star. This is seemingly the evil team for Scarlet and Violet. They are other students in your academy that seem to have commandeered different parts of the region for whatever reason, and you're going to be dealing with them throughout the game. These are... Uh, the website says the Team Star was formed by the school's most rebellious students and is made up of several groups. Each group is led by its own boss, each with their own base scattered across the region. So these are the big red flags that we've seen in various trailers. It's also the big red motorcycle looking car that we saw in one of the more recent trailers. On some of the promotional art, we see that the grunts of Team Star are riding on Cyclozar. So these are going to be their Pokemon of choice. Just further confirming, I think, that these Pokemon do not evolve into the box art legendaries Coridon and Miraidon. They are separate Pokemon that can be ridden on. The grunt designs are fine. They're baggier, less formal looking versions of the school outfits with helmets and star uh, star sunglasses on. Uh, so that's what they do. They do a little star animation when you go into battle. So that's what's going on with Team Star. You're going to have to take down their bosses in each different part of the region. Uh, it's going to be, it seems like a free for all. Uh, the star grunts can send out a bunch of different Pokemon to fight you and you have to defeat all of the grunts Pokemon within a specific time limit. And then once you do that, you're going to be able to challenge the boss of each region to a battle. There's different forms of this, so you can do an auto battle, uh, which means you can just continue to use attacks or you can choose to specifically pick different attacks as the battle moves on. This is different. Uh, this is a very different form of battling than what we're used to. And each boss is going to have what they're calling a star mobile. That's the big motorcycle flames looking car that I was talking about before. So there's a lot to these battles. It's more of a free for all. The battle system is changed up a little bit. And I would assume you're going to get some kind of reward for clearing each of these different areas. The promotional art's really nice. Um, the car looks like it's almost alive. It's got a big eye in the front and what looks like a tongue. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, in the Titan for in the Titan battles, we saw much larger versions of the Pokemon with a massive health bar that you're going to have to take on. And that's going to be with Arvin. This is what we got the least revealed from in the trailer. They showed us Clarf, Cloth. I can't pronounce this Pokemon yet. Much bigger version that is the, the Titan of this area. So you would have to assume that there's going to be various different Titans around the region that you're going to be battling. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you could unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. Check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you, and if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also always greatly appreciated. That's what we learned about the least. And I would think that if there's going to be some other gimmick in this game, in this generation, it's going to come from that mechanic. When it comes to the gym challenge, when it comes to Victory Road, 
we got to meet a couple gym leaders. We got to meet the chairwoman of the Pokemon League, uh, Miss Gita. We got to meet the grass type gym leader. We got to, and that was pretty much it. <laughs> we got to meet the chairwoman and the grass type gym leader. Of the gym leader of Art Satan, Arta, Art, Artisan, Artisan. So we'll see. There's a lot here. There's a lot to dive into. There's a lot to dig into with this all. We got the reveal of a couple new Pokemon, which don't seem to have been officially named in the trailer just yet. They're, they do look like Pokemon out of Mega Man, which is a little strange. Uh, one of them is Serulage. Serulage. He is the, the blue one, which is probably... It's a Fire Ghost type, probably Violet exclusive if I had to bet, but I could be wrong because we haven't seen that yet. Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge is the other one. It's the Fire type. These are the three new Pokemon we had revealed. We don't know a ton about them just yet, and we did see the player character using them, so there's a lot going on with them. I'm not sure. They seem to be more special than just your average run-of-the-mill Pokemon you would find out on a route. They look like characters from Mega Man. I can't stop saying it. We didn't get it revealed in the English trailer, but there is a special edition OLED Nintendo Switch coming out to commemorate Scarlet and Violet's launch. It has uh, red and purple Joy-Con controllers with the two logos of the schools in each game on the bottom of them. You have a gorgeous all-white Switch dock with the design that goes around the Scarlet and Violet logos in the trailers in the background. And then in the foreground, you have sketches of Koridon and Miraidon in their two different colors and their Scarlet and Violet on it as well. So if that is something you're interested in, if you want to pick up a brand new Switch, that is also going to be coming out close to release. Finally, not a Switch, uh, a Switch Lite for a Pokemon game. Finally, a full Switch. One of the interesting things that they revealed about the chairwoman of the Pokemon League, Gita, is that she is also one of the league's champions. So there's a lot going on here. They're switching things up a little bit. I don't know if that means she's a member of the Elite Four or if there's various different champions you're going to have to take on. We will see. That's pretty much all the things I noticed from this trailer. Uh, if you noticed something, let me know down in the comments section below something that I might have missed. I pulled a bunch of information off the Pokemon website because the trailer didn't reveal a ton of this information on its own. So as usual, whenever you see these new trailers, check out the Pokemon website afterwards or my YouTube channel. That, that works too. And you'll learn a bunch more than you did in the trailer itself. We'll have more videos coming out in the next couple days going over all of this, going over the three different challenges, going over the evil team. It's going to be a fun time. If you enjoyed, let me know down in the comments section below. Don't, be, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss a future upload. I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.